What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new figure review. Today we are looking at Power Rangers, the Lightning Collection, Lost Galaxy, Magna, Defender. This is of course from the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. We have been uh, getting a ton of these figures lately and I am just overjoyed that they are coming out with some heavy hitters right out of the gate. I don't really remember much about this character, but I always remember I used to have the old like five POA toy and it was always one of my favorites. So getting a nice brand spanking new version of this from Hasbro is awesome. And I'm super excited about this figure. I know this review is late. I'm literally the last person on planet earth to always find this Power Ranger stuff apparently, but I'm gonna keep on reviewing it cause I'm really enjoying all of it. So take a quick look at the box here. You can see on the side, we've got some okay artwork. I'm not the biggest fan of the actual packaging of these figures, but I don't really care about the package because I'm an opener. So it's pretty much whatever to me. You got a Power Rangers Lost Galaxy logo on the side of the box there. On the back, a pretty bad uh, pre-rendered version of the Magna Defender. On the side, you got another picture of this artwork. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get him out of the package. Take a look at the accessories and then the figure itself. So let's do it. Okay, so for accessories, he comes with his sword right here, which is also the, if I remember correctly, these are actually the same like weapon, so it wouldn't make sense to have him holding both, if my memory serves correctly. Uh, but I think it's just a representation of the two different modes, the more gun mode and the sword mode. The sword actually has a sheath and it comes out and it looks really nice. Let's get close up here you can see the wonderful clean paint apps on the actual hilt of the sword especially around where the green is and the gold leading into the silver just looks really good it's a little bit fuzzy at the top there but it's not too bad on the opposite side it also looks really nice the nice sculpted details uh, really shine on this figure and this sword in particular looks really good and there's some really nice sculpted detail on the sheath as well you can see sort of the uh, grip to hold it when it is in the gun mode which let's take a look at the gun mode it's not nearly as impressive as the sword but it still does look nice this doesn't move this doesn't cock back or forth it kind of looked like it did so i thought i'd give it a little shot there but the sculpted detail is pretty nice the weapon is of course warped as are most things that come out of hasbro but this uh the little insignia right here still looks pretty good as well it's a little fuzzy not too bad definitely have minimal complaints about this love the amount of paint that they included on the two weapons really nice from hasbro and of course they both have pegs as well so they can peg into the magna defender like so on his belt here you can have the sword plugged in just like that or you could also plug the gun in fits well super easy to put in and it looks super dope so he also comes with a blast effect which plugs right into the uh, weapon okay it does actually plug in a certain way so you gotta kind of get it right and you'll be able to tell where the grooves line up for a snug fit just like that and it fits on the blaster and that's just awesome love that they're including blast effects with all the power rangers stuff really just adding that nice little bit of extra value and also just in case you were wondering it does plug into the sword version as well so pretty cool and then he also comes with a trigger finger and a closed grip hand and then he also comes with a super wide grip hand and then a wider grip hand for the left hand right there so now here is the Magna Defender out of the packaging and in full view. And this figure does look awesome. Really nice sculpted details across the entire figure along with the combination of accessories and this nice rubber cape, although cloth would always be preferred, but still looks really nice. And I like the way it hangs and the way it plugs in. So let's take a close look at the details of the figure here. So you can see the figure has tons of paint all over it. For a mostly black figure, it does feature quite a bit of paint and some really nice details on it. 
So you can see that the helmet is a black, silver, and gold color scheme with the green gem on the front there. And the green is a nice reflective color along with the big part on the breastplate. Look at how reflective that is. That looks super nice. So for the head, you can see it is a little splotchy upon very close inspection. For instance, on the top of the head, you can see the paint really gets pretty sloppy, but that is to be expected when you are dealing with Hasbro stuff. But the rest of the body also has this nice textured detail on the armor that looks really nice and you can really see it on the legs. And just the design of this costume in general, it's so unique. And I think it has always stood out to me when looking over the designs of Power Rangers across the years. So yeah, getting back into the details here, you can see the gold paint on the stripes of the pauldrons and down here on his stomach are just great. The uh, gray belt does end up looking a little plain and boring because it is just some light gray plastic and it kind of sticks out a little bit like a sore thumb. And the cape is a nice red on the back side there and then on this side it's black and it just plugs in right into the collar. It comes on him so you don't really have to worry about it but it is removable and it just comes right out so those were some of the details so let's go ahead and get into the articulation you can see that his head moves side to side just a little bit and doesn't really move down at all and it moves up only a little bit the head articulation is pretty poor on the magna defender although you know he can obviously twist around but it could i feel like it could be a lot better but the collar mixed with the design of the helmet and the cape all kind of work together to really inhibit the head articulation but he still does have some pretty good articulation anyway uh articulated shoulder pads right there that move up and completely get out of the way of the arms so you can bring those all the way up and yeah you can see the the pads go up high enough they will not get in the way at all he does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that, that work really nicely there. The hand is on a swivel and the peg is a horizontal peg. So it goes inward like that and his hand wants to pop out and they are all like that. There are no vertical pegs for Magna Defender. Unfortunately, he does have the really nice diaphragm joint is that what I want to call that? The diaphragm right here. So you get tons of wiggle room all around. And he does feature some nice ab crunch. He can go forward really far. Looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, obviously it kind of looks ugly, but it works pretty good. And he can go back way farther than you would ever really need him to. But again, you obviously will get that separation right there there's nothing you can really do about that the legs can kick out really far the double jointed knees of course work great he does also have thigh swivel pretty much the standard articulation all of the power ranger lightning collection figures have had so far the feet can go down really far and they can go up a decent amount as well and the side to side ankle pivot works great so now let's go ahead, we're gonna compare him to some other figures from some different lines so you can get a sense of scale. First up, some of his line mates. We have the Shadow Ranger and the Putty. Then we have the Black Series Royal Guard and the Marvel Legends Black Knight. And finally, the Mezco 112th Michael Myers and NECA Ultimate Roy Burns Jason. So all in all, I think the Magna Defender is another solid entry into the Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro. Although I don't remember anything about this character, I cannot deny that the design is awesome and something that I remember pretty vividly from my childhood. Again, one of my favorite childhood toys growing up was a Magna Defender, so I'm really excited to have this brand new, super detailed, articulated version of the character, and he looks great. And uh, Hasbro just continues to knock it out of the park with their Power Rangers stuff. Most of the figures have been completely awesome so far with virtually no complaints. This guy definitely is better QC wise than like my uh, putty 
and Green Ranger 2-pack. If you guys saw that review, you know I got some real bad QC ones. But uh, in terms of accessories and the design and the articulation, I definitely would give this guy a recommend. Even if you don't really know much about him, I think he just looks awesome. So yeah, that is my review. What do you guys think of Magna Defender? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Share this video with your friends. Of course, I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.